stretching along the southern side of Italy's Sorrentine Peninsula, the Amalfi Coast dazzles with its mysterious grottos, craggy cliffs and shimmering bays. It is deemed an outstanding example of a Mediterranean landscape by UNESCO. Amalfi, the town that gives its name to the coast, is situated at the mouth of the Valle dei Molini. The Amalfi Coast is about 50 kilometers or 34 miles in length. Its charming historical towns sit atop sheer cliffs, overlooking beautiful beaches and glittering seas. For one of the world's greatest bus rides, take a trip from Sorrento to Salerno along the beautiful and enchanting coastline. A common misconception about the Amalfi Coast is that it is a tough place to reach or afford. But there is something for everyone. For an abundance of both culture and nature, walk the Amalfi Coast and mountains. This offers a unique combination of sea, picturesque towns and stunning mountains. The landscape is varied and offers ever-changing views. It can be typically Mediterranean, intoxicating with its wild perfumed herbs, or almost alpine with meadows and bare rocks. The tiny Italian town of Amalfi wraps around cliffs of the Lateri Mountains as they meet the sea. This makes it a dramatic setting for leisurely morning coffees and sun-soaked hikes. Ancient Greeks and Romans influenced the architecture here. The town of Amalfi has a population of about 5,000. It is calming and relaxing during the off months. In the summer, it bustles with life as visitors arrive. Some hostels here offer free breakfast while others offer free city tours. Go for an Amalfi hostel with an outdoor terrace. In this way you will make the best of the coastal breeze. Apart from hiking, there is more to do here. Go have a coffee at the historic square of Piazza del Duomo. The Duomo di Sant'Andrea Cathedral. A Byzantine-style structure from the 13th century is here. Visit the colorful harbor for a chilled afternoon watching the boats. The Paper Museum is an interesting historical attraction. It is located just outside the town center. Naples International Airport is the closest to Amalfi. You can rent a car and make a 90-minute drive. By bus the trip takes around 3 hours. Beatrice sul Mare Station is the nearest if you prefer the train. A connecting bus service is available to your destination. Trusted information and package ideas for the Amalfi Coast are given in the travel information section of this video. Travel Eye is not affiliated with any of the companies listed. This information is based solely on my personal experiences and detailed research that was done. Beatrice Sul Mare is known internationally for its marvelous ceramics. This is the first town you reach when traveling to the central Amalfi Coast from Salerno. The only train station on the Amalfi Coast is found in Beatrice Sul Mare. Visit the 18th century church of San Giovanni Battista and admire its majolica tiled cupola. Beatrice Sul Mare is home to some of the most popular beaches among locals. 
the La Baya beach is pebble and rock free but with less clear waters. The 120 meters La Crispella beach is a good spot for some rest and relaxation. A 16th century tower stands at the end of this lovely beach. Many legends surround the two brothers or do fratelli rock formations offshore Marina Vietri beach. Located between Amalfi and Positano, Conca de Marini is the second smallest village in the Campania region, and one of the most exclusive tourist destinations. The Sea Cave Grotto dello Smeraldo or Emerald Grotto is Conca de Marini most precious treasure. On the floor of this cave, divers have installed a white ceramic scene. At Christmas time, it becomes the focus of an incredibly atmospheric procession. A visit to Conca de Marini is never complete without indulging in its famous and very delicious pastry Sfogliatella Santa Rosa. The mountain paradise of Tramoni sits on the high peaks of Monte La Terri. This is a charming town surrounded by streams, terraced vegetable patches, olive trees and vineyards. Dramatic, deluxe and more than a little dashing, Positano is the Amalfi Coast's front cover splash. This resort town's houses tumble down to the turquoise Mediterranean in a cascade of sun-bleached peach, white and terracotta. Here sunbathers eat pizza on the beach. Famous for being a scenic seaside paradise, you'll be totally blown away by this tourist attracting town. Positano's Chiesa di Santa Maria Assunta is one of the most popular churches in southern Italy for exchanging vows. This church is internationally known for its Majolica tiled dome. It also has a 13th century Byzantine black Maduana and child above its main altar.
walking through the town of Priano is a divine experience. Priano is well situated for a hike on the Path of the Gods. The Path of the Gods is a trail that winds through the Lateri Mountains between Bomareno Hamlet and Nocell. This quiet fishing village is packed with sleepy charm and local flavors. If you are in Priano at the end of June or beginning of August, catch the festival of light known as Luminaria di San Domenico. Priano is accessible by boat or car. Naples Capodicino is the closest airport. Located in Priano, the 15th century church of St. Gennaro is the only building of Baroque architecture on the Amalfi Coast. Enjoy endless sea views while cooling off in the shallow bay at Marina di Praia Beach. Known for its yacht studded marinas and stunning natural beauty, Capri Island sits just offshore Priano. Here, take in the views of the towering Ferraglioni di Capri rock formations and stop by the Blue Grotto. Thousands of years of history Ravello is an enchanting mountaintop setting on Italy's most beautiful coastline. Ravello boasts views that captivate souls, inspire artists and fill hearts with passion. Known as the City of Music, it is home to Villa Simbrone, one of the most prestigious hotels de charme in the entire Mediterranean. Splendor and ambience of yesteryear permeate this 12th century residence. Just a 10 minute walk from here, you will arrive at the gardens and terraces of Villa Rufolo. Ravello, at more than 1200 feet or 365 meters above the Mediterranean, is the hidden treasure of the Amalfi Coast.
Located in the charming and quiet cove between Capo di Orso and Conca dei Marini is the small paradise of Minori. It was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1997. Loved for its natural and evocative landscape between the sea and mountains, this Amalfi Coast small town is mind-blowing. On hot summer days, the top attraction in Minori is the small but comfortable pebble beach which is equipped with bathing facilities. Visiting Minori will be incomplete without a trip to the Roman Villa and walk around the 7 km or 4 miles lemon path. The nature and magnificent views are to die for here. Sitara is an authentic classic Italian fishing village located only a few kilometers away from the city of Salerno. Sitara's tuna is famous the world over. Vast quantities are exported to Japan to make sushi. Visitors come here to eat what is widely considered the best fish on the Amalfi Coast. You can also find excellent limoncello here. Limoncello is a tangy lemon liqueur common on the Amalfi Coast and on the island of Capri. In the town of Furor, a small cluster of fishermen houses cling to the side of the cliffs. Make it down 944 steps to reach Furor's sandy beach Marina de Furor, Italy's only fjord. Arching over the glistening bay, a lovely stone bridge connects Furor Fjord's cliffs. Here, Toria Mare, an ancient tower sits high on the headland. Beyond offering views of the magnificent crystal blue Mediterranean, Toria Mare is also a studio for paintings and terracotta sculptures by artist Paolo Sandulli. Sometime between the end of July and early August annually, Furor hosts the Mediterranean Club High Dive Championships. In Atrani, an awe-inspiring time awaits you. Here, cobblestone lanes and winding pathways lead to quaint eateries. Enjoy delectable seafoods while taking in the views of the ocean. Situated at its entrance there is Santa Maria Maddalena Church. This true symbol of Italian tradition dates back to the year 1617. In Atarni, 
At Spiaccia Grand Beach you'll find yourself in paradise. With crystal clear waters ideal for swimming, snorkeling and sunbathing, you'll never want to leave. This breathtaking cove is surrounded by high white rocky mountain cliffs. The charming fishing village of Nerano is found halfway between Sorrento and the Amalfi Coast. Nerano is another slice of the Amalfi Coast's paradise famous for its pristine coastline. Here Marina del Cantoni, a rocky seabed with transparent waters is a favorite among scuba divers. Sitting inside the Punta Campanella Marine Reserve, Nerano offers visitors memories to last a lifetime. Its gorgeous coastal views, unforgettable scrumptious cuisines and idyllic beaches with crystalline waters make you wish you never had to leave. It offers stunning sea views along the Amalfi Coast with a sweeping panorama of the Bay of Naples, the Bay of Salerno, the islets of Lee Galley and the island of Capri. Nerano is nestled in the farthest corner of the Amalfi Coast. In Sant'Agata Suai du Golfi, perched on a hilltop with spellbinding views of the Gulf of Naples and Salerno, is Monastero del Deserto. This monastery was constructed by Italian Carmelite monks in the year 1676. Another beautiful church, Chiesa di Santa Maria del Grazie is also found here. On your visit to Sant'Agata Suai du Golfi, don't miss a trip to Marina di Crapola. This picturesque pebbled beach and cove are situated at the seaward end of a river course and ends in a fjord. Caves and houses built into the hillside provide storage for fishermen. To get here, Climbing down 600 very steep steps is very laborious. Pause along the way for jaw-dropping views of islands along the mesmerizing Amalfi coast. On the last part of your descent you will see the quaint St. Pietro church. Just above the church and facing the sea is a large cross depicting the crucifixion of Christ. Ascending the steps is tiring. Walk with lots of water and a snack or two. Famed for its sea cliffs and overlooking the Bay of Naples in southern Italy is the touristy town of Sorrento. This land of lemon and orange groves is the birthplace of Limoncello liqueur. Sorrento offers good diving, great sea fishing, boat cruises and an appetizing culinary experience. This astounding coastline has great weather and stunning views of Mount Vesuvius. Located about 1 hour south of Naples and 30 minutes north of the famous Amalfi Coast, Sorrento can be reached by train bus or ferry. The very scenic Amalfi Drive connects Sorrento to Amalfi. This narrow road snakes the high cliffs above the Tyrrhenian Sea. Between April and October is ideal for visiting here. The weather is great and local festivals happen during these months. On August 15, all of Italy celebrates Ferragosto. For this occasion locals create decorations, light beach bonfires and celebrate with traditional food stands, music and dancing. In Sorrento, visit the Church of Santa Maria del Carmen to see its stained glass windows. In Marina Grand marvel at the vibrantly painted buildings in this seaside fishing community. The Church of Saint Anne, the patron saint is found here. Villa Comunale Park is located in the town center. From here enjoy the beautiful manicured gardens and some of the most spectacular views of southern Italy. The cloisters of San Francesco di Assisi is a site of immense history and grandeur. Originally a 7th century monastery, it was later turned into a church and cloisters in the 14th century. Sorrento is also known for its ceramics, lace work and marquetry. The UNESCO site of the ancient city of Pompeii is just 40 minutes from Sorrento. Learn about Sorrento's patron saint at Basilica di Sant'Antonino. Experience history at Valle dei Mulini or Valley of the Mills. Being a cliffside town, Sorrento does not really have sandy beaches. But look over the cliff from above and you'll see beach clubs below. On the marina you'll see beach huts with chairs laid out along the piers. 
Named after Queen Giovanna of Naples, Bagni della Regina Giovanna is a natural swimming pool that oozes natural beauty and romance. Enjoy snorkeling at Punta Campanella Natural Marine Reserve. This reserve is home to flourishing aquatic life. If you plan on staying in Sorrento during the summer, make reservations well in advance of your arrival date. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. Let's catch up in the next video. Shall we?